you're looking for alternatives to Wonderlist, which is a great app, but perhaps you've used it and there's either some um, some functions or features you're not quite sure of or you don't like, or maybe you know it just hasn't worked out because not every app is you know going to work great for everybody. Uh, but as far as alternatives go, there are several. Uh, some of the more popular ones. I mean, we'll start with the obvious Evernote. Um, that isn't probably going to be the top choice to replace it for everybody, but there are ways to do it. If you're not familiar with Evernote, um, well, one, you should definitely check out Evernote first. <laughs> but then secondly, um, it works with notebooks and notes. So you have notebooks, and then once you create a note, you can uh, give it titles, tags, so that, you know, you can just see there's ways to arrange this. You can tag things, you know, with projects, or you could have them in folders and tag by important topics, things like that. Um, so that's pretty handy, and of course, uh, Evernote is free. There are some perks to their paid uh, version, but you can start free, and it's pretty powerful. Um, I personally suggest, uh, what we talk about at the Productivity Academy, is using Evernote in conjunction with one of these um, kind of to-do list apps. I find that that works best, but some people can, can really get a lot of mileage out of Evernote, and that may work well for them. Uh, one of the others is Todoist. Uh, this would probably be the closest to Wonderlist. I highly suggest checking out Todoist. I personally use it in conjunction with Evernote. Um, again, you can get started for free. They do offer a premium um, version that adds in some things like location-based reminders, which is pretty cool. Um, for example, you can have it on your phone, you know, Android or iOS, and when you ha set up a location-based reminder, maybe you're within you know a certain distance of you know, shop XYZ, it reminds you to do whatever task you had set up. Um, obviously, you've got projects, labels, filters, um, pretty nice layout. You can look at today, your total inbox, next seven days. Um, you can set up your own projects. This is just the default, um, and then you can add your own. So, very handy. Um, another one, if you're looking to for teams, this Nosby is a great one for uh, team based projects. Um, again, it works just fine uh, for personal use and one on or one single person use, but uh, they've got a good uh, amount of interactivity things you can do here. You can really work well with a team, and I believe their premium version um, comes with two to three people. Um, actually, let me look that up real quick. Okay, so I just went and checked, and it is. Um, when you get the premium version, you get uh, two people, or you can invite someone to work um, as well. And then beyond that, they do charge. I'll flip over here real quick. Um, so free for the first 30 days, all right, and then $8 a month for one to two people, and then you can add people for $4 a month if you bill yearly. So um, it also has some really strong features. Obviously, this is more of just a quick overview on what some alternatives to Wonderlist are, so I'm not going to go into all of these. Um, but it's got the same idea where you can tag, you can arrange by projects, um, and it's got some more powerful features as well. Some really cool integrations where you can integrate things like uh, Google Drive, uh, Evernote, things like that. So really powerful and a, and a great team app. So anyways, that's just a quick rundown of some of uh, the top apps that we recommend for people to use as Wonderlist alternatives.